And NASA's much anticipated historic mission to the moon is on hold again for now. The Artemis team gave the test launch another shot this weekend, but after a pair of called off launches, the latest caused by a hydrogen leak, it may be weeks until NASA gives it another go. Joining me now is ABC News contributor and astronaut, Katie Coleman. Katie, good to see you, and thanks so much for spending the time on the holiday with us. Oh, I'm I'm happy to. I'm I'm sorry our news isn't better. And at the same time, you know, this is just this is the way it goes. You know, these are yeah. hard things that we do and, and it takes some time. It's just a pause for right now. That's 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 what we know. Uh, while there may be some disappointment, obviously, about the launch not happening just yet, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said the cost of the two scrubs is a lot less than a failure would be. Why is it so important to get this test launch right? This test launch is basically the, the first thing we do that is gonna collect so much data that is gonna allow us to understand how to more safely send humans to the moon. I mean, I, I'm retired from NASA now, but you know everybody who's there wants to be on that rocket, but they wanna be on it when it's when we've collected the data we need. Going, this, this rocket is gonna go 30,000 miles further you know, I was going to go to the moon, but then 30,000 miles past the moon, collecting radiation data to understand how to send humans to space more safely. There's mannequins on board that have sensors. I thought sensors. There's 5,600 sensors on those mannequins. There's a lot of data, but part of the data they're getting is just what we're doing. And I know it's kind of painful, but... You know, we've tr you can't simulate everything until you're really on the launch pad. And some of that is just learning how to make sure we understand how to make this, the launch system on the ground work the best. And it's really challenging with cold fuel, really tight fittings. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a big long list and they're, they're working through these things. You wish it would all go perfectly, but the things we learn for this are the things that are gonna help us make the next launches successful when there's people on board. Former Space Shuttle Program Manager Wayne Hale tweeted out this after the failed test launch. There is something sublimely American about trying difficult things in public where everyone can see the good and the bad together. The reality here is what NASA is attempting, as you just mentioned, is incredibly difficult. It is so true, and I actually just love Wayne Hale. And I, as a, he's a, he was a flight director, and as a, an astronaut, as a Capcom working, and we worked in mission control side by side many times. And I, I like that big picture because you know, leaving this planet is hard. Anybody who's been on a rocket, anybody who's tried to, is part of a team that launches rockets, and I don't care what company, it is not an easy thing, especially when it's very, very new. And the destination may be the same, and this vehicle may be the same shape, but it is a new system. It's hard. And I'm very proud of the team. And, you know, it sounds funny, but this is this is the Kennedy Space Center and the other space centers around you know, the NASA space centers at their best in terms of they are the people to solve these problems. And they put this kind of like, oh, what if and when and all the questions their family members are asking them aside and just dig in, solve the problems. And I'm very proud to have been a part of this team. And Katie, we've heard this uh, time and time again, but for those who say we are sending astronauts back to the moon, it costs too much. We have way too many problems down here on Earth to take care of. Let's spread the money out that way. Why should we all be excited about getting back to the moon? You know, exploring is, is what we do, and, and there's no question. All right, Katie Coleman, we do appreciate you spending time with us this morning. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.